All right, <clears throat> on today's episode, what do you do with a compost in your composting toilet bucket? It doesn't magically disappear. A little composting toilet fairy does not come and wave her magic wand over it and it disappears. So today, I'm going to be building a compost bin for the compost in my composting toilet and my other compost. Um, and then I'm going to show you how I clean the buckets. And then towards the end, there'll be an update on the whole thing. Because this video took a while. So uh, there is an update towards the end. So stay tuned. Let's get with it. Oh, getting out today, doing a few things around the homestead. One of these chores. I've been putting off for about six months. I really didn't want to do it, but I got to. Time's come. Um, we got some snow. Most snow we've had in seven years, according to Weatherman. They said we would get a dusting up to maybe an inch. They stuck with that forecast up to about 10 hours, between six and 10 hours before it starts snowing. We ended up with four and a half inches. Some places got as many as six. I'm surprised it's stuck. I have salt on it from salting those uh, deer hams. But it's stuck. I need something a little tougher than that to get that snow off. I don't want to do it with my hand. So, I'm going to clear this off. Still cold. Still working with my birds, trying to. I've seen a, quite a few of the little chickadees and the uh, titmouse out here this morning. By the way, y'all don't know what this is, it's this smoke. Got water in it. on the feeder so they don't have to and when it falls on the ground it doesn't fall in the leaves and they lose it I need a bigger piece of plywood but this didn't help them and get the rest of the smoky parts out of the way tell you what that's been the best smoke I've had a lot of smokers in my day that homemade job right there has been the best of them. 
keeps temperature. Okay, got the birds taken care of. By the way, on my other channel, I'll leave a link to the build on that smoker. Um, they're called drum smokers. Some of them call ugly drum smokers, whatever. So, we got the birds taken care of. Now, oh, my hands are cold. I gotta go in and warm up. I, I know, wear gloves. I don't like to wear gloves. I, I should have a coat on. I hate wearing bulky coats, so um, I'll just go, be going in and out. Um, the next tour I have to do, and I've been fortunate I hadn't had to do this yet, but today I've got to do it. All my composting toilet buckets are full, and so I need to fix me a compost bin, get me compost bin started, and empty my buckets. Okay, let's go see if we can find a place to put this. This um, compost bin. Don't obviously want it in front of the house. I was going to go deer hunting in this stuff, but Last two days, there's been so much snow falling from the tree, snow and ice. I sure didn't want to take a chance on getting beaned. And here's the problem. We've got all these logs and stuff hidden under. You know what? Here's a little. No, I don't want it there. Oh, armadillo hole right there. Fill him in. Uh, oh, it is still cold out here. It's about 30 or 32 right now. And I'm just kind of looking, 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 kind of like this spot over here. Let's go over here and see about that. <sighs> yep, you know, take a walk. I get bit by a briar. I still got a few, uh, quite a bit of small stuff to cut out of here. I've got to be careful about this spot because. Some of these trees are going to have to come down. And I'm really kind of liking this spot here. Well, not really because this will be at the back. So I plan on putting a, a shop or a, a shed right in here. Hmm. Where, where, where to put it? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, see this old tree's dying. Old oak tree. So before it all dies, I really need to go, just cut it and cut it up in firewood. So um, I'm kind of liking this area now. Let's go over and look at this area. It's a big old oak tree right here. I'm keeping it as far as I know. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking right here someplace. Thinking right here. Yeah, I'm liking this area right here. About four foot by four foot. Got plenty of leaves I can use to cover it up. I got bags of leaves if I need more. I don't have no hay. So I could I, yeah, I could buy some hay, but I'm not going to. I got leaves. I've got leaves. So let me get the, the pallets down here and we'll start here.
I see a lot of people make these out of pallets and they stand their pallets up. And, you know, I guess it really doesn't matter, but for me, I think I'm going to lay them down. I think I get a little bit more area this way. I'm angry for the sapling. I don't trip over this briar. I'm going to angry for this sapling right here. Me some uh, briars down. There's a lot of them right here. But I can wait till the end of the day. There. There. Yeah. I don't see why that wouldn't work. Hold yeah. on. Oh, well. Alright, we'll move most of the slacker in. I don't know if you heard me earlier, but this one pallet is mostly oak, red oak. I hate to use it for this, but it's all the pallets I have right now. I don't know when I get more. And since my last compost bucket is almost full, this has to get done. I looked long and hard for rope. You think I'd have some? I only found in my camping box a Coleman uh, clothesline. So we're going to cut this up. Had this probably in that cook box for over 10 years. Hadn't used it yet. Might as well use it. All I'm going to do is just tie these corners together. Now, when I get more pallets, I can expand on this. Right now, this is going to work for what we need it for. I think I have seven or eight buckets. And those have lasted me for six months. Nothing like dropping your <laughs> composting bucket. Good thing there wasn't more compost. I tell you folks, it's cold. I should have gloves on, but I don't. Go ahead and tip that bucket over. Nope, maybe not. Mm. Okay, we'll do it the hard way. I shouldn't have dropped it over here where I had a broke slack. Hey, oh, come here. Oh, this has been quite the little experience. There.
Now, what I'm going to do, not today, <laughs> too freaking cold, yuck, yuck, I got it on me. Um, I'll take these buckets, I'll take these buckets and put about a gallon of water in there with some Clorox and clean them all out and then have them set aside. But. It still amazes me that the only smell you get out of this is that earthy, moldy smell that you get when you rake leaves back. I would urge y'all not to wait till the coldest day or even the hottest day of the year to do this. So my last, the one, um, now the last thing that I'm going to do is I have some leaves up there in the bag that's uh, right at a year old. And I'm going to, if the bags will hold up, I've then got one bag in here. If the bags will hold up, I'm going to bring down here and dump them in here. As I get more pallets, I will be expanding this. I know some of y'all are going to say, well, it's awful small. 
Well, I'm only one person out here, so I don't create a lot of waste. Um, but I do want it bigger because this is going to have to last a year to two years to compost. So let me get those leaves. I'll get them in. See, these have been here almost a year. Look at all that. That's just nothing but compost. Nothing but compost. I was going to put this on the garden at my old house. Then I realized I was going to move. And so I saved them. These bags are just about gone. Though. It's kind of like got to them. But that's okay. Now. I don't know if I've done told you this or not, but if I get in town to Farmer Ranch store, I will probably stop by and get a bale of hay and just add to it. If you had grass cuttings, if it was a different time of year and you had grass cuttings, that would work. Now, I don't, when I'm using the honey, honey bucket, what I cover the, my business up with, some people use sawdust. Some people use compost, peat moss. I rake back the top layer of leaves, and I get that layer that's been there a year, two years, the compost layer, the stuff that you smell. So um, that's that's what I use because that's what I have the most of. Oh man, it's got a lot of sticks in it. I got this off a lady I work for. She rakes her. She rakes her um, yard religiously in the fall. I'm gonna put these. I, don't know, I know y'all can't see it, but the whole layer of sticks right there she had in there. I'm gonna put another layer on here. I'll have about a foot of leaves on top of my uh, honey bucket stuff. So let me go get another bag. Two more bags. I'll probably put them on, but you get them. You get the idea. As luck would have it, or unluck, who knows. Um, I remembered I have about four gallons of water I drained out of my um, ice chest and I'm always looking for something to recycle this water with. Perfect. So I dumped uh, about a half a gallon of bleach in about four gallons of water and I'm going to use that to clean the buckets. Now, if you use bleach, you want to make sure you don't pour that water out around trees or something you don't want to kill because the bleach will probably kill it. Uh, pour 
about a gallon in there. Typically, I have a brush. Get it on you. Pretty clean. One more little rinse. This will be much easier to do it right after you dump the buckets. You let this stuff dry in the buckets, you, you will need a brush to get it off. Those buckets probably the best. It was the first one I actually used too. Uh, first bucket I used in the compost toilet.
going to need some extra cleaning. So when I get my brush, more water. I drain my ice just about every week, so I'll get a me brush or buy another one. Come out here and clean them. So that's that's good for another six months. Okay, a little update here. It's been about two weeks since I filmed that first segment. You know, the segment was snow all over the ground. Um, been about two weeks. Today's almost 70. <laughs> Go figure. Um, I was able to get a couple more pallets uh, at the place I get them at. Uh, they threw some out and I grabbed them over the holidays. So I went ahead and expanded my bins and added another one. Now, this increased my capacity a great deal. Um, you don't have to have all this in order to for your composting toilet or your compost uh, either one. But it helps. Now, this one, I added three more bags of leaves once I expanded it. So, that will, um, as you can see how low it is, it's already, you know, compressed uh, quite a bit. In the next six months, you know, if I make it six months with those buckets, I'll put them over here. And then this time next year, this will be way down there. And I can add some more on top of it if I want to. Or pull that out in the spring of 2021 for fertilizer. So this this is a good setup. Let's see, what did it take me? Two, four, six, seven pallets. And um, now I will say probably at some point do this right here bring a short piece of two before and now across these to sturdy them up i mean it ain't bad because once you get your leaves and stuff in there they ain't going no place but i don't know sometimes i'm anal that way just to nail them right across here to tie these in so that's it um you can see this composting toilet, uh, composting toilet, compost bin for my composting toilet and my compost is done. Thank y'all for watching. Hey, like and subscribe if you found this useful, helpful, and we'll catch you on the next one.